Howdy all you buckaroos, it's time to learn how God loves you. So come on now, get out of your pew. Eric's got a great children's message for you. Boy, howdy. I think I am. Good morning. Oh, it's very good. Good morning. How are we doing? Good. There's, make sure there's room for everybody. Uh, come around over here. There we go. You got it. Very good. Uh, good morning. Uh, thanks for giving, getting here early because we all had to give up an hour. It's not right. Anyway, we made sacrifices this morning. So we are here. Uh, and so we're talking about what we need. And what we need right now is sleep, right? So that's the first thing. What else do we need in order to survive? Yeah. Water. Water. That's what we're going to be talking about very soon. Kudos to you. Yes? Mm-hmm. God. God, yeah. What else? Mm-hmm. Food, yep. Anything else? Yep. Healthy food. Healthy food. Yeah. Very good. Mm-hmm. Shelter, yes. Those are the main ones I can think of. So we need something else? Clean water. Clean water. Absolutely. We need, definitely need water. So we need shelter, food, air, water. The other thing I would say is we need friends. You guys have a lot of friends up here, so that is very cool. Uh, and so, and there's something else we'll need. We'll talk about somebody, else, somebody already mentioned. We'll get to that too. So today is about water and a well. So it used to be you couldn't just turn on a faucet. You had to walk to a well. And some people still have to walk to a well every day to get water. And so Jesus does that, but he doesn't have something. He forgot his bucket to get water. So he would have been, it would have been good if he had something. Let's see if you can find it here. Something like this to get water from the well with, don't you think? That'd be good. So I'd like one of you uh, to pretend to get water from a well. Lena, come on up here. I saw your hand first. All right, so then, uh, yeah. So hold on there. Okay, and what I'd like you to do is to dip down into the well, get some water. Very good. Now, without leaving your hands from the handle, get the cup to your lips. Well, you're close. You're close. It's not quite, uh, we're moving up there. No, not really. Oh, oh, well, we've, moved, we've traveled down the handle in order to make this work, but you can very well done. Though, what would be easier, you think? To take it off. To take it off. Yes, absolutely. Do that. However, hold out your hands. Could you give the water to someone else and get, get it to somebody else's lips? There you go. It's better if you had a friend, wouldn't it? Yeah, and then what could they do? They could give it to you, right? Yeah. All right, well, now we got angle issues going on. But still, it could be done. That's the point of this. So you can do this for all you wanted to. You'd never be able to get it to yourself. But if you could give it to someone else. And so what we need are other people. One of the worst things is to be all alone. We have a big fear of being abandoned and being alone. And so Jesus is alone. He's by himself. And then a woman comes at noon and wants to have a conversation with him. And, well, she doesn't know that. But she has... A bucket. And so Jesus asks for what? Water. Water. That's right. And so then uh, they start having this conversation. And it's clear that Jesus wanted this conversation to happen. He came at a time nobody else would be there so that he could talk to somebody who was lonely. Probably this woman is exactly who he came for. He went out of his way to be there at this time and at this place to start this conversation. If there's only two people around, is it okay to have a conversation? Yeah, what's, well, you're probably going to talk to each other, and you're probably going to listen, right? Uh, and so this conversation goes on, and it takes some different turns. He talks about, they talk about where they're going to worship and where water is going to be uh, from. And so Jesus says that he has water that will last for forever. It's living water that will well up to eternal life. Uh, what does that mean? Can you guess? Yeah. Yeah, and he will last forever. So he's talking about himself. But with water, this woman, every day, she went to the well, and she got what? And then what did she do with the water? She drank it, or she used it for washing her clothes or herself. And then what did she have to do the next day? Go to the water, go to the well again, get more water. And then on and on it went, miles every day, just to get water. So if she had water all the time, that would change her life, Right? And so Jesus is talking about something that will last forever. He's talking about himself. And they start talking about where, where worship's going to be, and he basically says, someday you're going to worship everywhere. And then he also later on says that he is the Messiah. 
And Jesus doesn't often tell people that he's the Savior, but he knew that this woman who was with him was lonely and needed a Savior and needed a friend, and so he does share that with her. And then she gets all excited about this news. She's been lonely. She hasn't had friends. She's at the well by herself. Uh, and she goes back, and wh what does she do? She tells everyone else about Jesus, and they come and see him and hang out for a couple of days, and eventually they say this. First, we believed in Jesus because of what you told us, but now we believe because we heard him ourselves. We know that this man really is the Savior of the world. And so Jesus gave her what she needed. She needed a friend. And can you guys be a friend of somebody else? Yeah, that's what we need and that's what they need. And then he shared forgiveness with her. Can you share forgiveness with others? Yeah. Can you share Jesus with others? Yeah. And so we get to fill other people's needs too. And we're thankful that Jesus does that for us. So why don't we pray and repeat after me. Dear God, Dear God. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Help us to be friends to the lonely. Thank you for being friends with us and giving us all we need. And all the people said, Amen. Thanks for coming up, guys. Grab your seats. Bye, bye, bye.